presentation will familiarize you with the operation and controls of a Haas CNC machine. By the end of this presentation, a student should be able to name and identify the nine major key groupings, understand the function of the six operational modes, identify the parent groups of commonly used keys, locate frequently used keys within an operational mode subgroup, and have a basic understanding of how each key operates on the keyboard. The Haas control is simple, intuitive, and powerful. It has remained relatively unchanged in layout since 1988 with minor variations. The Haas advantage is the same keyboard is capable of running all of their CNC machines from a gantry mill to a universal milling center, which greatly simplifies your ability to move between our VF2 mill and ST10 lathe without learning a new control system. Our milling machine is a next generation control, which is graphically oriented and a little bit more intuitive than the classic control found on the ST10 lathe, but this lesson will apply to both. Where there are differences, I will point them out. The disclaimer here is that you won't become an expert overnight. You need to expect to spend more time on the simulators and controls to fully learn these keys and functions and refer back to this video for more help as your knowledge expands. Let's start out with the control pendant layout. The basic control pendant is laid out on a stainless steel cabinet represented by this graphic. The control station swings on a hinge on the left hand side to allow you to conveniently position the keypad while you operate the machine. The major areas of this control include the display screen, where the program and machine information is shown, the power on and off buttons along with the emergency stop button are used to control power to the machine, below this is the jog wheel used for manual movement of an axis and scroll control, and beneath the jog wheel is the cycle start and feed hold buttons which start and pause the program execution. Last, we move to the keypad below the display screen. This presentation will focus mostly on the keypad keys and will use the stylized graphic. The keypad keys are arranged in nine major groups listed below. By thinking of the keypad in these major groupings, it will be easier to understand the operation of each key on the control panel. Let's look at their layout in groupings before we discuss the R operation in detail. Looking at the keypad and starting in the upper left corner, we can work clockwise around the groupings. These major groupings are reset keys, display mode keys, operation mode keys, numeric keys, alpha keys, override keys, jog keys, cursor keys, and finally, specific function keys. We'll discuss each group and the keys within that group in more detail next. Starting in the upper left hand side of the keyboard, you'll find the reset key group. These keys are used to set up and recover the Haas machine. Let's look at them one at a time. Starting on the very left hand side of this group is the large orange reset key. And this is used to stop or interrupt a currently running program. It's also the way to clear an alarm message and reset the red strobe light. Additionally, it will move the cursor to the beginning or top of the current program in some modes like memory or MDI. Moving to the right is the blue power up key. This is used at machine startup to zero the axes and home the machine. The machine will not run or move until it has found machine zero after a power up. The next key is the blue recover key, which is used to correct some automated operations, such as a tool change if an error or interruption occurs. Pressing this key will bring up a set of instructions to follow on the screen, and it should only be done with an instructor helping since this is considered an abnormal condition. 